Andy, I have been <laughs> feverishly refreshing my Twitter, your Twitter page, as a matter of fact, for two straight days here, waiting to see when and where Yamamoto is going to sign. I'll just ask you now that we're in person. Right. What's the latest? Well, Sal, the latest is this is day one of a really significant week for New York baseball, and particularly the dynamic between the Yankees and the Mets. Now, the Dodgers are heavily involved in this. Other teams are heavily involved. But this is the first free agent showdown uh, between the two teams of the Hal Steinbrenner, Steve Cohen era. And really, when you talk to our friends like Jim Duquette and Omar Minaya, who've been on the scene longer than we have, the Mets and the Yankees have never really gone toe-to-toe -to -toe for a big player like this. Carlos Beltran a little, but mm. the Yankees didn't really even want him at that time. So this is uncharted territory. And what we're getting into this week is the home stretch, where teams made preliminary offers like weeks and weeks and weeks ago, kind of just to put their stake in the ground and say, we're serious. Those numbers don't matter anymore. And what's going to happen this week is that real negotiating and offers and back and forth is going to begin. And that shouldn't take too long once the, the visits I think are just about done if not completely done and it's time now for Yamamoto's representatives to talk dollars with the teams that gets us to a resolution uh, the teams hope by the end of the week man uh, are you guys not entertained because I am hugely entertained, entertained. By this. because it's just, it's just been such a long time where we've had the Yankees and, and the Mets in a situation like this where they both have the financial capital and the desire to go after such a big signing uh, so people were talking about 300 million dollars I wouldn't be surprised by that in the slightest. Um, I also like, you know, kind of kind of the narrative that we're hearing that Steve Cohen not only went to Japan, but then after that, he had him over to his house. And immediately after that, the Yankees are like, hey, guess what? Let's have another meeting with Yamamoto. So you can really tell how fierce this competition is. Uh, I think that will definitely tick up the bidding a little bit. Uh, and just in addition to that, you know, uh, they have a, the, the Red Sox are in it. The mm -hmm. Dodgers are in it. It's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I have no idea where he's going to end up. Every once in a while. Neither do the teams. Yeah, you, you, every once in a while you get this little glimmer of something. You get some news. You hear some gossip, and it's just not happening. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm interested to see what his priorities are. Are you feeling, Andy, and you've been on top of this from the beginning, from both sides with the Mets and Yankees and just in general Yamamoto, are you feeling that price is going to be a big factor here? And if so, where are we looking at price? Because we've heard anything yeah. from early on, 180 to 200. Now it's over three, potentially. Where are we looking at price? So this is a good chance to sell. And, and Laura, you mentioned, like, what is it going to be? Is it going to be high bidder? You, like that, this is a good chance to mention how much uh, contradictory information has been going, not just to the reporters, but to the teams on this. I could sit here and tell you, truthfully, I've heard from a good source that he's going to go to the highest bidder. I could also sit here and tell you truthfully, hold on, that oh. money doesn't matter that much, and I've heard that he's going to go to the city he likes the best. Okay. I've heard that he is a Dodger fan. I've heard that he loves the Yankees. I've heard that the Cohen meeting went well. I've heard that the Cohen meeting went poorly. There's so many different things out there. All of this is from sources who usually know something, so there is an unusual amount of contradictory information going around in this free agency. I, I want to say, like anybody out there on Twitter or in our articles that are claiming to know more than what I just said, don't believe them because the teams are left guessing just like everybody else. In terms of the money factor, that, that's similar there too. There were rumors that he was being offered more than $300 million. I don't believe that's the case yet. He hasn't fielded those offers yet. Uh, some teams are skeptical he's really going to get into the 300s, uh, but we will see. He's no. definitely going to get paid like a like a big time ace, like two, three times or more what Senga makes.